special program today. We talk about the legal aspect of protecting ideas and creativity. We have the views of an intellectual property lawyer, Chika Ochonogo, on this and much more. We also have the opinions of some lawyers and their experiences with the verification exercise as members of the Nigeria Bar Association prepare to vote the next national officials and, of course, our weekly recap of the top trending stories from the courtrooms. Plus, the question this week, should all estate agents be lawyers or do they need to be both? Well, you find out in a moment. Hello and welcome to this episode of Law Weekly. I'm Millicent Walker. Creativity is the lifeblood of any company without which most of these companies would not be launched, let alone survive. As the general rule says, a mere idea or a creative concept does not qualify for patent, copyright, trademark or even a trade secret, except a few conditions are met. But of all of it, it rests on the shoulders of the person receiving the idea and the person giving that idea. My guest is the founder and lead consultant of Filament Consulting. She's also trained and qualified to practice law in Nigeria and the United Kingdom. I began by asking her how one could protect an idea or a creative concept. There are different ways of, of um, protecting a concept, but I mean, the, the best way or the most watertight way is don't tell anyone. <laughs> but then you won't be able to exploit it, you won't be able to make money out of it. Um, it the law allows not for protection of concepts per se, um, but for protection of expressions of concepts. Now, some people find that dichotomy hard to understand. Um, but if you think about it, everybody can have a bright idea. It's not necessarily about the idea, it's about the execution. So you have trademarks that protect, um, trademarks that protect um, 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 designations of origin, or rather it tells you where a product originates from. You have designs that protect the aesthetic of products. Um, you have patents that protect inventions and a lot of people are quite familiar with copyright which um, protects creative um, um, creative works like uh, music compositions, sound recordings, film, books, um, artistic works. So th there's a whole way, plethora of ways that you could actually protect your the expression of your idea. Is it true that a creative element, um, a creative concept, an idea, that of an entrepreneurship is difficult to protect under Nigerian law? I think there's a misconception that we don't have laws that actually protect um, um, intellectual property. We do have all the laws. Um, I think the issue is particularly with with registration of certain rights. Our copyright, um, even though you can register a copyright, you don't actually need to register a copyright to have copyright in a work. Once you've published it, your copyright is automatically there and you, you actually have the right. Um, it's, I would say the, the problem at the moment is to do with uh, um, trademarks, designs and patents registry. Um, it's, it, I mean, it takes absolutely forever, for example, to register a trademark and it's sometimes going on three to four years and... Um, Why that difficulty? Um, from what I understand, it's, the, it's a lack of funding for the registry um, and also um, the staff at the registry are particularly... Uh, are demotivated because of that so if there's no funding there's no money um, then also people start to you know do side jobs in order to 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 push um, certain trademarks forward for um, for for additional income um, so basically because of that I mean if you think about it you apply for your trademark and as, as soon as possible, you need it for it to come out of the other end so that you have a certificate of registration. 
but um, a lot of trademarks get stuck halfway through for for maybe one or two years there were hardly any trademarks published and you need trademarks to be published trademark applications to be published in order for it to get to um, the registration stage and so in that respect it can um, be difficult our, our laws are imperfect I mean for example our patent system um, our patent system you can register a patent without any kind of examination on the substance of the application so you can register one of our in Nigeria it's one of the um, jurisdictions that is the cheapest to register a patent because of this lack of substantive examination and what I mean by that is once you apply all they want to see is that okay you filled in the application form correctly and you get a patent whereas in, in other jurisdictions they actually you know examine the field to see whether your patent is new it's not obvious and meets all the other criteria and this can take years and years and years but the idea is once it comes out of the other end your patent is actually solid it means something whereas here you get it quickly but you, just because it's registered does is not a presumption of validity so it's almost not worth the paper so what's the best way to protect a creative idea there are some creatives that you come across that are paralyzed with that fear that someone's going to steal their idea so much so that they don't actually do anything with the idea they just keep it for themselves but the, the point is that you just need to actually um actually you need to exploit that idea and and know how the laws can work for you um i i already went into how you know the different um ip rights that you can have to protect um um, um you know the expression of your concepts in terms of enforcement now um the issue is that a lot of people don't have um faith in in courts i mean the obvious way is to go to court if you're aggrieved or you feel somebody has infringed um, um, a, a right of yours. Um, but some people don't either have the inclination or the money um, to do that. So they resort to, um, the, some people resort to social media pressure, which sometimes can be effective, um, but you have to be careful because if, you're, if you're, your case isn't solid, then you can have the other side suing you in return um, um, some, for some kind of trade libel. Um, on a more business level, what I always advise is, all, is to make sure you have the right agreements in place um, with the different people that contribute to the making or to the, to, to the execution of your idea. Um, so, for example, with, with software, um, you know, it will be, the software will be owned by an enterprise, but it would actually be developers who can either be consultants or employees that are developing the software. So you have to make sure that, you know, in your contracts that th there are provisions that provide that all the IP rights will flow back to the company or to whoever is instructing the employee, the employer, or whoever is instructing the consultant. We have a monstrous disincentive to the creative industry, piracy. What are we doing about it? Are our legal provisions to handle it, are they sufficient? Piracy wipes out a lot of the profit that the music and musicians could could possibly have, that um, filmmakers um, um, could possibly have, but unfortunately, with 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 piracy, it's like cutting the head of the hydra. You you cut one off, and then another one uh, another one springs up. So it, it, it's definitely a very difficult um, issue to tackle. Um, 
I would say so, if, if there were ways to dis, dis incentivize consumers from actually bu buying pirated works, that might be one way of curbing piracy in the sense that, um, okay, so if a CD on the street costs 250 naira, you have to make the original 250 naira and that way maybe the funds will be channeled the, into the right hands but the problem with with that is the economics might not necessarily work um, for the musicians or for the re record labels to be able to sell their cds at at that price um, so that i've always thought how what would be you know, a good way of, of, of curbing piracy. And that's, that's one way I, I think of it anyway.